So welcome everybody. Welcome to um, Energy Play Shop number six. Today is June the 9th, 2022. And as with uh, all the other times, I'm going to kind of just um, walk everybody through with... So, okay, hang on. So this is our agenda for this play shop. We're going to do a welcome and check-in and then presence meditation and then start to talk about healing with energy. And um, so healing with energy part is all about it's, it's hands-on, whereas the partnering with the body, it's a bit more um, theory part. So, so with that said, let's just do the the check in first so the checking in with everybody please unmute yourself if you want to respond or ask any questions is just from any of the other five previous play shop any kind of questions comments um personal experiences that you would like to share so now is the time before we get on to newer material Not really, no, okay. Okay. Well, then let's get in. So um, so today we actually talking about healing. Um, I know I've talked a little bit about it before, but it's more in passing to playing with energy, but in, we're getting more intentional now. So last week I talked a little bit about how to find out which part of the body that we want to work with first. So now that we have found, assuming that we've found um, a part or maybe um, a few parts of the body that we would like to heal, start healing, then now I want to talk about, so, okay, so how are we going to heal it? That, that particular part of our, our body and, um, the move points from last week, it can be used as a healing modality as well. Um, uh, however, that's more like um, um, you actually pressing onto it and massaging it. So now I'm actually going to talk about um, healing energies. How do we, without even touching our own body, because sometimes maybe the part of our body that we want to heal, it's at the back or somewhere that we we cannot touch um, very um, easily. Let, let's say if it's if it is the liver, we can't really touch our liver. We can we can kind of hover our, our maybe massage the area that is of our skin that is right near where the the liver is supposed to be. But if we actually want to send so to heal the liver, so how do we actually do that? So I want to talk a little bit about the qualities of, of um, energy that is most useful for healing. So instead of me talking about theory, I actually want everybody to experience. So let's, let's do the experience part. Oh, I actually forgot to actually do the um, presence meditation, which is very important, um, especially if we want to start doing the healing part. So let's now just take a very brief, uh, just a couple of minutes to do the presence meditation. So just take a deep breath in. And let go. And take another deep breath in. And let go. Take a third deep breath in. And let it all go. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. 
with the intention of as much as possible is to elongate your breath, to use your breath to assist you, your body, to start to relax. And really allow yourself to focus on the breathing and let go of any thoughts. And if thoughts come into your mind, then just let it be. No need to dwell on the thoughts and also no need to resist it as well. If it comes in, yeah, allow it to come in and then allow it to leave. And as you feel your body becoming more relaxed, then set the intention that you want to call back all parts of yourself to you. So as you breathe in, just imagine that what you're breathing in is really all the parts of yourself that you have sent out with your thoughts to things, people, events, places. Call them all back. Call them all back to your body, to this moment. all parts of your mind, body, and soul. Allow it to come all the way back to you in this moment. To really ground and anchor yourself to this moment. All of you. And when you start to feel yourself becoming more grounded, more present, then you can come back. You can actually open your eyes if you have closed your eyes. And it was actually a great opening to the first healing energies that I want you all to experience. Because I can throw frequencies, healing energies, um, like I can give you a ton of theory, but there's nothing that can take away the um experience part of it so let's all now allow ourselves to experience the healing frequency of five to eight so just set the intention that you want to experience five to eight so five to eight is hertz so hertz is really meaning a cycle per second. So five to eight cycles per second. So this is a measurement of energy. So five to eight hertz. Allow yourself to be surrounded by this energy. And just feel what that feels like. Set that intention. I want to experience five to eight hertz. H E R T Z hertz. That's how it's spelled. And it simply means cycles per second.
Just keep repeating in your mind that I want to experience five to eight hertz. This particular energy, this frequency. And give yourself and your body a bit of time to create it for yourself. And as you experience this frequency, just notice how this frequency affects you. What do you feel? Do you feel a warmth or a coolness? Do you feel it as a particular um, Shape. Or do you feel it as at a specific point or a specific place in your body? And notice how your mood is when you surround yourself with this five to eight hertz of energy. Okay, so I will open up the floor for people to tell me how, what do you feel? If you would like to share, please feel free to do so. I felt calming energy. Probably because that's what I needed. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Mm. I felt a uh, very cool energy. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. I'm feeling, I'm feeling warmth around part, certain parts of my skin. Okay, great. So I would share what I feel. Um, of course, everyone feels this energy very differently. So not there's no right way or wrong way. So I'm just sharing how I feel. For me, I feel it. Um, it's like a column of energy from my heart that goes up to my the top of my head. That's um, where I feel that energy really <clears throat> affecting my body. And um, it's, it's a very stabilizing and grounding energy that I feel. And also after a little bit, I actually feel a bit of emotions coming up. It's like coming home, a feeling of coming home. So I feel a little bit of emotions when I, when I you know, at that, so. That's how I experience it. And however you experience it is perfectly all right. It is perfect for you. Okay, so now let's experience a different frequency of energy. So now let's experience 40 Hertz. So four zero, 40 Hertz. Just repeat to yourself that you want to experience what 40 hertz of energy feels like. 
and just quietly um, repeat that to yourself and allow your body time to create this energy and get adjusted to this energy and feel what 40 hertz feels like in your body. And um, specifically is to notice how your mind is functioning when you are in this 40 hertz energy. Just notice how 40 hertz energy affects you or different parts of your body. How does this frequency affect you. Okay. So what do you feel? How does this, how is this different from the five to eight? For me, some anxiety in my heart and, and block my ears, not mm. pleasant. Okay, cool. Anyone else? It felt a little low. Like... What, what was that again, sorry? Emotionally, I felt quite low, like I fell down. Mm, okay. <clears throat> Anyone else? I'm not, I, I'm not feeling anything. <laughs> yeah, me too. I didn't feel anything. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Um, so for me, 40 hertz, I actually feel very mentally alert. So that's what I feel. Um, in, so like, so there's a big difference. So it, that's, that's really what I want to, <clears throat> to demonstrate is different energies affect us very differently. Okay, so now let's, Let's go and um, experience a different combination then. So the next uh, set of frequency I want you to experience is 800 nanometers. So um, there are two, or, or um, the two ways of I, that I know of to um, quantify energy. So the hertz, so cycles per second, that's more for hearing, so for a sound. Whereas nanometers, nm, that is more for visual. So let me actually show you what that is. Um, so let's, I, don't, I actually want to share screen and show you a, so this is nanometers, so our, there is a range of wavelengths that of visible light that we can see, and that's usually between 400 and 700. We those are uh, what our eyes are most. Um, I would say as much um, most people would be able to pick up, would be able to see objects beings, whatever, that is within this range, okay? Within this range. So there are different colors. So this is kind of the, um, when we 
when we fracture light, the white light, then it has a particular spectrum, but there are also um, lights that are lower than 400 and they're absolutely um, lights that is higher than 700. So what I want you all to experience right now, so this is more light, so in nanometers. So it's a different kind of um, way of measuring energy, which is light. So using the nanometers. So let's experience 800 nanometers. That is a far infrared range. So just call, because your body knows. So your body knows what that is. So just call to yourself that you want to experience, you can have it all over your body or you, um, you can actually select a particular, just one area in your body that you want to experience this energy. So 800 nanometers, 800 nm. This is far infrared range. So just experience this, whether you want it to be just one part of your body or all over, it doesn't matter. So 800 nm. Just keep repeating this to yourself and allow your body time to create that this light wavelength for yourself to experience. Okay, let's come back. Mm -hmm. Wants to share? I can feel it. No? Okay. So, um, anything, but uh, uh, I just. Uh, I used to have a surgeon back which had the fine for it heating. So I was just thinking about that. That's all. Um, I, can't, I couldn't relate to that. Yeah. Okay, so 800 nm. Let's try this one more time together. Okay, so 800 nm. So just find a comfortable way to sit and just clear your mind, simply ask your body to create 800 nm wavelength for yourself to experience. Just imagine this energy 800 nm coming through the crown of your head, going through your body. Just feel whatever it is that your body wants to feel.
Okay, let's come back. Any, um, you feel it better this time? I'm feeling something across my forehead. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, the, the, the first one, I just felt um, orange, orange tan light color is just, um, you know, both is coming up. And then uh, the second one, I just felt a little bit of uh, sensation, just like um, magnetic sensations. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. No one else? Okay, I would share. Um, I feel absolutely hot right now. <laughs> it's like I've been sitting under the sun for a while now. That's, that's what it feels like for me. So um, that's 800 nanometers. So now let's try a different one. Maybe this one with feel a little different. So instead of 800, let's just clear that and now experience what 380 nm feels like in your body. Okay, so just allow your body, just let your body know that what you want to experience now is 380 nm, so 380 nanometers of wavelength. Just imagine this 380 nanometers wavelength is coming in through the top of your head. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody feel anything different this time? I felt resistance. Okay. Uh, I I felt I felt like it's calming energy. Okay, great. Any other, anyone else would like to share? Okay, great. So I would share what I feel. Like, yeah, I do feel it's very calming energy as well. It's like I'm almost tranced out already. It's 380. So it's really a very calming, relaxing energy. Oh, what was that again? Sorry. Uh, it's soothing. It's very soothing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. So now let's. Next one is let's combine the two. So have both 800 nm and 380 nm coming in together at the same time, okay? So just clear your mind, <clears throat> clear all the sensation and just 
So let's take a deep breath in, let it all go. And now the next one is 800 nm and 380 nm together. Okay. You a difference between all three instances? I feel like when it's yeah, you you're breaking up. Yes, when it's together, it's it has healing. Because. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of a sudden, I start quiet. It 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 actually healing for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Anyone else feel Can something? I felt how it scans my body. So. Mm -hmm and calming yeah okay i i felt a a twinge in my liver <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yes that's where your body needs it excuse me <laughs> okay so let me explain what this um all the energies that you have experienced so far so 528, of course, you all um, recognize 528 is the frequency of love, unconditional love, to be more specific. And because of that, um, we all feel that this is like this expansion. And, um, and it's, so love is kind of the universal healing energy. And, um, universal healing frequency and, and it's like if you don't know what else or you don't remember anything else then just remember 528 remember unconditional love that is like pretty much that is um the most um it's a swiss army knife of energy healing you can use it on anything and it will not hurt anything at all you can Throw this energy on yourself for as long as you want, and it will not damage anything. It can only do good. So that's what 528 is. So 40 hertz is mainly for um, cognitive, strengthening co cognitive function. So that's why because it's a much lower frequency. So you all feel the, you know, the, the, it's, it's a very drop in, big drop in, in terms of frequency from five to eight. So you feel the difference. You, you feel um, maybe some emotional things coming up. So however, 40 Hertz has its usage. For example, if somebody has um, things like early stage Alzheimer, those things, then 40 hertz will help, will assist. So that's, that's what 
40 hertz is mostly used for. Um, so 800 nm. 800 nm is in the far infrared spectrum. And what that does is really it penetrates. So it actually penetrates. So energy just penetrates. Because some of these energies, they they may take a while to go from um, your skin level to within your body. Whereas the, the 800 NM would be, it's kind of like a carrier frequency. And uh, 380 is ultraviolet blue. So that is definitely the healing energy. So when you use both of them together, the 800 NM and the 380 NM together, um, you basically, you heal. You start to heal from a cellular level because the, the energy, the 800 can, can go and penetrate deep into um, thicker organs like the, the, the liver or uh, so those, and also heart. Those, those are more um, well-worked right, like muscle because the heart is always pumping. So it's a rather tough muscle. So you need some carrier energy to penetrate and, and pull the, the healing energy inside. So eight, that's how what 800 NM and 380 NM are used for is to really go deep, to heal the, the body. And you can use it on specific organ. You can just say heal, heal the heart, or you can even be more specific if you want to heal the, the, um, um, the, the right, um, what is it, what are those things called? Um, the right side of the heart or the left side of the heart? Because um, I think the heart is actually made up of several muscles that come together as one. What was that? Sorry. A ventricle. A ventricle. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you for. <laughs> well, remind. Um, yeah, remind me of the, the word. It's, it's yes. There are. So you can be as specific as you want. To in terms of healing a specific part of your body. So that's what all these different energies are. And so now I actually want to um, let you do experience something else. Remember um, a while ago, we did some energy healing using different frequency. So this is actually Hertz in Hertz. So, um, so these are the, so more specifically, the 40 hertz linked to stimulation of memory, increased neural response, efficiency, all that. So this is 40 hertz. And 5 to 8 is, is kind of a higher um, level frequency. So that's it. It heals more on a... So it actually can start to heal and repair DNA level. So that's what these are used for. So now let's kind of, um, let's do kidney because I remember last time our kidneys really needed um, lots of help. So let's, let's focus on the right kidney and then we can do the left kidney. So, 120 hertz. So 120 cycles per second. So one, two, zero. So let's just call on that. Let's think about our, let's just think about our right kidney. So open right kidney, like right kidney open. And then just call on the frequency of 120 to our right kidney. So 
So relax your body. Right kidney open. Right kidney. With frequency of 120. So as much as possible, just relax your body and send 120 frequency to your right kidney. And just feel what's going on in your right kidney. Right kidney, 120 hertz frequency. Okay, let's come back. How does the right kidney feel right now? Anybody feel anything? Mm -hmm. Would like to share? It was good. My kidney felt good. <laughs> I feel my right kidney pulsing. Yep. Yeah, I feel I felt that too. I I just felt a just a, a, a just a, like I knew where my kidney was. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Okay, now this time let's um, let's work with the left kidney now, but use a different method. Now this time let's let's do the same thing. We open the left kidney, and this time we use the 800 nm and 380 nm combined. Okay, so let's feel what's the difference between those two. So left kidney open, and left kidney. with 800 nm and 380 nm frequency. Left kidney open, left kidney, 800 nm and 380 nm frequencies. 
activate. Okay, let's come back. You any difference between the yeah. two? For me, it was much more powerful. It was warm and it was like huge wave of energy working on my left kidney. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Anyone else? I felt the I felt the warmth. That area is strong. Mm -hmm. mm. So I felt three pulses in my left kidney more than the right. Sense. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually experienced, yeah, I have very similar experience as well as that. I actually find. Um, How should, I, how should I put this? I all, all of a sudden I actually feel I can see better. <laughs> Miraculous! It's like oh. oh my gosh, my my vision seems to be all of a sudden improving right in front of my eyes. <laughs> oh. So that's yeah. So that's yes. This this eight hundred and three eighty nm combination is very powerful. So um, I'm not saying that 120 does not work. I'm just saying that um, like comparatively, this is what we experienced. So, so for someone if else- If you add the 800 and the 300, I said, if you add the 800 and 300 and, and 80, you get the 565. <laughs> Yes. What did you put that way? <laughs> you, you do. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Higher frequency. It's like, I am getting hot now. <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm actually sweating now. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, we are definitely um, moving into some higher frequency. Yeah. And, and that is how you heal your body. Just knowing what frequency to use and um there is not saying that the 120 does not work it it's it may work better for some people so you there's no one right way so you really have to try different things and see what actually works for you so that's um also something that would that is very important is there is no one right way. If there were, then we would have found it and everybody would be healed by now, but you no, know, we are all different. So we 
um, we just have to try different things and um, whatever works, we use it until it does not work, then we go and find another method. So right now, 800 380 seems to work really well. So 528 also Ooh. works as well. So how do you, which one do you want to choose? It's it's up to how you want to, um, you know, it's it's really preference. Mm. And the other thing is, you know, how, how long do you have to do it? Um, how often do you have to do it? That is, there's no one right answer for everything and everyone. So you have to really judge for yourself. For example, I immediately see an improvement, feel an improvement in my vision. So it seemed to be that it worked very fast. Um, does it mean that my left kidney is all healed? I don't know. So um, how do we find out? So actually I want to uh, find, show a one method that you can kind of tell, um, give yourself a, um, some guidelines of how out of alignment your, uh, or any particular organ is. So you, so this is something that I learned rather recently as in, you know, in the last couple of months. So, and then we want to share with you all is very simple method. So imagine that there is a line. So let's, let's say this, this speaker here is, uh, um, is a, there is a line here. So it's kind of a range, a range. If you just um, imagine that for the width of my speaker, that's where um, healthy is. So let's say I'm, I'm checking my left kidney. So this is where healthy is. So then this is a kind of an energetic check. So what, what I do is I would just put my hand all the way out. You can use your right hand or your left hand, doesn't matter. And you start to come in with the intention is you want to check how far out your ball, your uh, or my left kidney is um, out of balance. So how far out am I, my, is my left kidney? So when I get to about here, that's where there is, I feel it's kind of like um, a very subtle block that, you know, of course, if I really want to, I can put my hand further in. But for the purpose of my query, this is where my hand stopped. So that means I am not, not within the width. So that means I am not all healed yet, but I'm not too far out. So if I were actually attempting to heal my own left kidney until it's really healthy, I would maybe do another five minutes of 800 and, and 380 nm healing and then check again to see maybe I'm closer to being healed. So that is very handy way that you can kind of get um, a bearing on how far out a particular kidney is or a particular organ is and how much longer you need to work on it. So that one way of Vinny, can you repeat that because I don't feel anything. So you just kind of um, arbitrarily fix a line in the middle. So okay. a line in the middle, or it could be a range. It could be a range, maybe an inch or two inch. So I just picked the the, the width of my mic. So. It's very arbitrary, but you you have to choose it before you do the the test. Okay, so choose a line where it, it this line in the middle, let's say, means that whatever it is, it's all in alignment. It's healthy. It's good. You don't need to do anything anymore. So that so you mentally note that that's the line, and then you just have your hand, left hand, right hand does not matter. 
just pick one hand that is most convenient for me. I'm right-handed, so I'm using my right hand. So I would, I would pull it out, like far out in, um, out of uh, like, so that I'm not in alignment. Okay, so then, then I would start to come in and the query is how far out of alignment is my left kidney? And you start to move your hand in and you're looking for resistance. So at some point, there would start to be a resistance. That means that your that is your unconscious mind letting you know that, oh, okay, it is this far out. So if middle is absolutely healthy, then I'm I my left kidney still needs to work. So is that clear enough? So my right, I, I do like this side. So my right kidney stop me here. It's mean it's far from the okay. Center. So that means you if you want to continue working on your right kidney, then you would do give yourself another five minutes of 800 plus 380 nm and then you check again to see if you've moved okay so that's that's how you would work it or that's how i would work it is is you do five minutes and then you check another five minutes and you check and see how far it is maybe all you need is 10 minutes or maybe you need more so thank you okay this this mm -hmm. this is a this is not a scientific way, but this is really like a muscle testing, only it's a different kind of muscle testing. It will give you some idea of where your organ is, so, or, or which, what state your organ is. So that is, that's that. Okay, so I, I'm, Let's see what time is it now, um, quarter after. Okay, um, I have one more thing that I want to experience, but maybe I should um, talk, I should leave it for next time. Um, actually, now I want to talk a little bit about um, partnering with the body because we're healing, we're healing the body. Um, most of the time we're healing the body. It could be emotional. It could be um, other things that are that is bringing us out of alignment. But um, if we, but for healing, most of the time is we are partnering with the body. So, so as I mentioned, that there are many ways of healing, and how do you know which way to to use? Because energy healing is not for everyone some people energy healing does not work for them some people actually need to take um let's say a particular herb um, a, a particular herb or they need to actually do exercise they need to do um some some stretching those things so the more you can create a partnership with your body and you create a partnership with your body just by spending time with your body, just meaning to set a time um, in the morning, in the evening, whenever it is that you, you can have some time to spend with your body is to just, it may not, need to be let's say a close eye meditation but just sitting with your body you can you can open your eyes or maybe just sim or even put on a bit of music some music that is more um, soothing and calming and just be with your body to just kind of listen to your body and ask question of your body as well so let's say if I want to heal my left kidney, I would ask things like, okay, left kidney, I really want to speed up the healing. Um, what can I do? And you just pose that question without any expectation. 
and you may hear it. You may hear the answer if you uh, um, like if if you have a if you have that kind of relationship with your body, your body would tell you something, or you may hear nothing, and that's also fine as well. But even if you don't hear something, you would feel something. Because maybe once you ask that question, all of a sudden you feel thirsty. So that is in itself is an answer. So it could be your body trying to show you that, hey, you need to drink more water because you know, I'm a kidney, I need water. So when you ask question of your body, don't expect your body to give you a response right away. Um, Jason Estes has a really good video and I can send the link to you guys as well. It's called The Body as a Child. So he talks about the, the concept that our body is really a child and we are, and we as the the uh, as, as a consciousness, as a soul, as a spirit, we partner with our body because I mentioned um, earlier on that um, we, as we experience this life, we have mind, body, and spirit. So we are a complex of these three different things, mind, body, and spirit. So as a consciousness, we are trying to create an alignment between those three. And so our body, if we treat our body as a child, then um, um, we will start to be able to work with the body so that we can let's say if we, it normally takes two weeks for us to heal ourselves, but if we are in better um, connection with our body, our body will show us what actually it needs in order to speed up that process. So it all starts by just being patient with your body and listening to your body. And it's like observing your body because your body may not be able to speak to you in words, but it definitely would be able to give you hints in other ways. Um, so create that relationship with your body so that you can observe your body. Let's say you feel like eating, for example, I have a sweet tooth, so I like to have something sweet after I have my whatever meal I have. I, I Either I have some fruit that is sweet or I have a cookie. So, of course, um, fruits are probably better for my body than a cookie. This cookie, who knows, it has all sorts of other um, additives to it that may not be very good for my body. That's what I think anyways. So um, to create a partnership with, with the body is to really say to the body, it's like, okay, I like, yes, my body wants this cookie. Actually, it may want a stack of cookies. So yes, I do have a stack of cookies, but before I actually eat it, is to have that conversation with my body is, is, is say, well, you know, I was checking at the ingredients list of this stack of cookies. They have, you know, things like monosodium glutamate, which, which is, you know, a chemical, it's not natural and it has sugar, it has blah, blah, blah. So some of these things I know it's not, may not be the best for the body, but you know, you know, body, do you really want to have this? Or would you want to have something that is better for the body? Let's say, what else do I have that's available that will give me 
a taste of, a sensation of something sweet. For example, I may have some strawberries or I may have a pear that is, that will be equally, um, give me some, something sweet. So when I look at the uh, ingredient list of a strawberries, it's like strawberries, that's it. Or, okay, maybe there, there are some um, other chemicals that's used in growing the strawberries. So fine, or let's, let's look at a pear. So a pear, yes, same thing, but if I peel the, the, the skin, then I'm not eating those chemicals. I'm just eating the sweet part of the pear. So options, so give yourself options and have conversations with your body. I'm bringing this one thing, um, like having something sweet after a, a meal, but it could be things like healing your body. How, um, how do you facilitate your body to, to heal better? So those are all, all sorts of conversations that you can have with your body. And it's really mainly to create a partnership with your body. The more you pay attention and talk to your body without any expectations, without talking down to the body and say, hey, you bad, you want cookies? It's, do you know how many calories is in one cookie and you shame yourself, you guilt yourself? That's not gonna help. You just have a conversation with your body and say, okay, this cookie, and then there is a pear. Which experience do you really want to choose for a body? And, and then some days my body would be very happy with just strawberries or pear. And some days I need a crunch, a crunch that I cannot get from a pear. I need that cookie. So some days <laughs> the body just wants what it wants. So have that conversations, have those conversations with your body partner with your body and also understand that your body is always growing, always evolving. Um, and your body function um, is very different. The, your consciousness actually is really what drives the, the functioning of the body. So the the more you expand your consciousness, for example, the more you can let go of guilt and shame, those kind of things, then you can actually really have a conversation with your body without using these negative emotions to um, kind of beat your body over the head. So the more, the higher the consciousness, the um, the more the body would be able to use energy. For example, at, some, at one point, I would be getting to the, the stage where I don't even need to have the cookie. I can simply look at a picture of a cookie, be able to experience, oh yeah, sweetness, and remember that crunch. So just, the memory of that crunch and sweetness would be enough. I don't actually have to eat the cookie. So that's really growing the body because um, it's, it's like energy. We can actually take uh, quercetin. We can actually take, like I'm taking vitamin B complex now. However, let's say, if um, let's say one morning I have to, it's a really busy day and I forgot to take my B vitamin. So instead of actually having to, to um, take that extra 10 seconds to get a glass of water and take my vitamins, if I am in a hurry, I can actually just say to myself, okay, now I'm drawing in the, and the energy signature of the B the vitamin B complex, drawing it into my body. 
take a deep breath in and absorb it all and get the benefits of having taken that me complex vitamin supplement even though i have not actually taken the pill the actual pill the matter itself actually just take in the energetic the energies of the the b complex supplements so we can do that we and it's the more we get to that level of partnering with our body and evolving our body that's really how we can at some point in time instead of needing to eat food that we can actually take in all of the energies that we need just by being in sunshine by breathing by maybe even just drinking water so we're not there yet however we are just actually partnering with the body and evolving the body step by step so you have all experience um just using 380 and 800 and um just calling those energies in and you can actually feel a difference in your body you're not actually um there's no light source that is actually shining those two energies into our body we're simply calling that energy in and we actually have that ability to do we don't actually have to take quercetin or ivermectin or whatever it is that we think we need we can actually just call that energy in and and we may not be able to do that on day one but as the more we partner with our body and really pay attention to our body because our body is a child um, and we have all abused our body. I definitely have. I've taken things that I like is really bad for my body. So it's just like a child. When you abuse a child, the child will not trust you. But when you start to create that partnership with your body again you're actually creating that trust with your body to the extent where your body doesn't have to because your body can heal itself all without you doing anything um you don't even have to think of an energy and that's what your body is trying to do all the time is to keep you alive making sure that you're heart works and your brain works it's just that we do things we do crazy things that um, puts our heart and our brain in jeopardy so the more you start to listen to your body and create that partnership with your body the more your body would be able to simply just use energy to heal itself or if it, energy is not enough, your body would have that trust with you to give you that um, signal, let's, let's say giving you uh, hiccups so that you know that, oh, maybe I need to drink some water or giving you a signal that says, hey, you are hungry. So you may, eat, let's eat some food. Let's not try to keep working for another two hours but let's put some food in me so when you create that trust with your body and really listen to your body then um, it becomes easier and then you can actually start to because when your body when you're working with your body you you're both going in the same direction you're in alignment and it will just automatically mix healing faster rather than <laughs> you trying to, um, you know, okay, I, I hate your body. How come you give me this illness? So if you have these negative thoughts towards your body, it actually slows down the healing process. So that's why I want to really talk about partnering with the body.
So that's all the, the talking part. Can I ask a question? Absolutely. So we can imagine that we take energy of vitamins and it's going to work on us, right? The same yep. way like vitamin works. Mm -hmm. If I imagine that uh, I bring energy of cake or cookie or ice cream, am I going to gain weight out of it? <laughs> out of this energy? That depends, that depends on... Um... Because the, the way I see it is that um, you have to work with your belief system. If you believe that you're bringing in the calories as well, then too bad. <laughs> you will. But if, oh, so I have to imagine that I bring just joy, not a calorie, right? Yes. You can, you can specify that. I want to experience the joy of having that cake. And I also want that cake to have zero calories. It is your, like the energy is what you call in. So. Yeah, I want just joy from this cake, <laughs> not the calorie. <laughs> It is okay. yours to create however you want to create it. Okay. Yeah, so any... Oh yeah. Uh, like you can also like take whatever supplements, food. You just uh, say make it good for me. No. Then only you get all the good things from it. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that That's too. What I do with my supplements, you know, when I take them, I just say make it all good for me. So, so the uh, so, okay. So you hold the supplement in your hand, and yeah. and you kind of say, okay, so I want to get all the benefits from oh, this, yeah. and not be the side effects from this. And you and create my, that my, intention. My, and I also picture what each supplement it's cutting is. for me. I also what did picture. you say? What should we say when we have that pills? I, I just say make it good for me. And then I picture uh, all the names of the supplements that I'm taking and what they're good for. Like some for eye and for eyes or body or mm -hmm. energy or whatever. Okay. Um, there's a part two to that is so you make that intention yeah so you make that intention so uh, supplement is going to be good for me and I and and um, I only want to have I only want to receive the all the good things from it okay okay so, and then you have to really check in with your body as well so then you ask your body do I really want to take this? Okay. And then, so, so yeah. So then your body will really, so your body, you have to give your body a, a say in whether it's willing to play with you or not. Right. So, okay. yeah. So you have to, so, so part one is intention and part two is, Okay, this is what I want, body. So yes or no? It's kind of can I still take this? Right. Thank you. Okay. So any other questions, comments? If not, then let's uh, do a meditation. Okay, let's do this meditation. Mm -hmm. 